So one of the great points of Rolls-Royce in our heritage is the Spitfire, and of course the Merlin and then Griffin engine that went into that aircraft. And that engine owns its heritage to a point where Rolls-Royce invested in the R engine, pioneering an engine to break airspeed records. Rolls-Royce bring centuries worth of aviation excellence and combining that with Electrolyte's uh, pace, agility, hopefully this will be sort of one of the first aircraft that is known as being innovative in electrification in this century. Project Axel has been going for three years now. I was there from the very beginning, lucky enough to be around when the first people started talking about the concept. It was uh, three people walking into this, this very building, sat down, got the laptops out and started work, and now we're spread across the two hangars here. So our, our aircraft, the Spirit of Innovation, is a, is a unique aircraft that we've developed specifically to go break the airspeed records. We knew from the beginning it would drive us to think differently, to have to work differently, to have to innovate differently. It is one of the most complex kit aircraft that is out there. So we've got 6,000 battery cells all connected together to an electric motors to deliver more than 500 horsepower. But the project's not just about going fast. The project's about the innovation, about the technology that it takes to go fast. And we're really proud that actually our project overall is going to be net carbon neutral. It's about inspiring a generation of people and proving that electrification and that strategy is here to stay. To get to this stage now, getting the team together we've got uh, in Electroflight and have the involvement of Rolls-Royce, such an amazing project, so exciting. One of the key milestones of the project is the taxi test. This is an incredible time for the project. The first taxi, the aeroplane moving under its own power for the very first time. It's the pilot and the aircraft on their own, the aircraft moving under its own power. Which is a huge milestone for any aeroplane in its travel. We're at the very edge of some incredible technology. The rest of the team will be looking at data on our telemetry system, but really it comes down to, have we built an aircraft that can do what we said it could do? We're entering an incredible phase over the next few months, and then we first fly. I'm often asked what this project means and this step means as part of that journey for the next generation. And to be able to look my own children in the eye and say I'm sustainable, you know, I'm driving to carbon zero in Electrify and Rolls-Royce doing that, doesn't get any better than that. <laughs>